Hey everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to walk you through a simple setup to create some sort of cliff shape that you can see in this render. So this is the graph, we already covered most of the nodes before, so if you've been following along the Bifrost journey on this channel it will be easy to understand. We start by creating two simple cubes, changing only the dimensions. Then you want to convert the cubes to volumes and merge them, just with the default setting so far. Now we scatter some points, only changing the amount and seed. And to give some variation I am randomizing the rotation and scale of the points. In the next step I am setting the instances to be just a scaled cube in the y-axis. That's our main shape done, in the next step we want to convert it to a volume and for that we need to bake the instances. In this part I am just adding a slight advection to the volume to break a bit the pattern. Using a voxel field set to fog density and then an advect field with the turbulence node to create some noise in the volume. Then we need to convert back the field to a volume and in order to save some memory you want to add a bounding box cube to the graph. You can play with the values, mainly the intensity of the effect and also the frequency of the turbulence. One of the last steps is to convert the volume to a mesh, which is our final goal. Finally, we merge the geometry and set the Arnold displacement and subdivision attributes. In this case I am giving it two subdivisions to get some more detail out of the displacement map. The very last step is just assigning the material, which in this case is a mixed shader, and also add the displacement shader to the respective port. You may also want to increase the resolution of the field to volume, so you can control the overall detail of the final mesh. Since we are setting everything inside the Bifrost graph, we need to use the Triplanar node to apply the textures, since we don't have any UVs. I am just using a Megascans material and controlling the scale of all the Triplanars with a float value node. As I want to add some grass to the top parts of the cliff, I am using a mix shader, with the first material being the rock surface and the second the grass material. Then to mix it you can use the triplanar node separating the axis and using only the Y. And that's basically it, really quick setup, I encourage you to try it yourself and add more layers of detail. You can download the scene from my Patreon and let me know if you found this helpful. These are just experiments I'm doing, hopefully you can take something from this. Thank you and see you next time.